In this video, you'll learn what the protocols TCP and UDP are and how they affect the transmission of your data. Every packet on the internet has a structure consisting of five layers. At the bottom, you have the physical layer, then the link layer, network layer, transport layer, and application layer. Because we're only discussing TCP and UDP, we only need to focus on the transport layer. The transport layer creates roughly 65,000 ports per network connection on your computer. Applications can reserve ports to send a message that is received and processed by the network layer. Once through the network layer, the message gets sent to the destination port that is determined by the application. However, there's more to it than that. TCP and UDP are the most common transport protocols, and they both have their own characteristics and uses. To start off, we'll look at the UDP and its advantages. Nearly the biggest advantage of UDP is its small packet sizes. UDP's packet sizes are up to 60% smaller than TCP's. Additionally, UDP is completely connectionless, meaning no connection has to be made to be able to send data, unlike TCP. UDP also allows more control over when the data is sent. This will come together more clearly when we begin discussing its rival TCP. However, there are several disadvantages to UDP. Firstly, UDP doesn't handle data corruption very well at all, and is extremely unreliable for multiple reasons. When corruption is detected, in most cases the data is simply discarded and the error isn't even recovered. Additionally, when a packet is sent via UDP, it is only sent once. If that packet never reaches its destination, it will never be attempted again. Not only that, packets sent via UDP do not always arrive in the order that they were sent. And lastly, there is no congestion control. Meaning, if your network is receiving a lot of packets, it will try and send them all at once, causing an increase in packet drop. You can see UDP has its advantages, but it's not very reliable. That's where TCP comes into play. TCP consists of a few features that make it much more reliable than UDP. Unlike UDP, TCP requires a connection. This is called a three-way handshake. First, the initiator will ask the acceptor if a connection can be made. The acceptor will reply to this request and send it back to the initiator. When the initiator receives the response, it will send a packet back to the acceptor stating that the connection has been established. This allows the use of delivery acknowledgements. When data is sent from one host to another, the receiver will recognize that it got that data. Another great TCP feature is its ability to retransmit a packet. If the receiver does not receive a delivery acknowledgement within a certain amount of time, it will assume that the packet got dropped and it will try again. Because data sent via TCP is numbered, it can be sent in order. The packets may not arrive at the receiver in order, however, TCP rearranges the packets before sending them to their destinations. Additionally, unlike UDP, TCP offers a better solution for congestion control. TCP delays transmission of packets when a network is congested. However, TCP has a few disadvantages. For one, TCP has a larger header. UDP headers are about 60% smaller than TCP headers. Additionally, a side effect of TCP's data congestion feature, not all the data gets sent out immediately and may take some time. However, in some cases, that's not what you want. Discord, for example, is something that requires data to be delivered seamlessly to make the experience feel as real-time as possible. That real-time experience is sometimes not provided by TCP. And lastly, TCP has a bigger overhead due to its ability to acknowledge and retransmit packets. Now, you're probably asking which one's better. Well, that all comes down to your application. If you were building a text application, you would want to use TCP as data is sent in order and doesn't require immediate transmission. However, if your application is more real-time stream-based, then UDP is the way to go because of its efficient packet transfers and minimal overhead. I hope this video helped you better understand the basics of TCP and UDP and how everyday data is affected by these two protocols.